Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're looking at the Acura Scale KUA Nuclear Flask Wagon in double O scale. These are brand new. They uh, arrived with me today. I've had them running around the track for a bit and they run very well. So what we'll do is we'll take a quick look at the details on the wagons and then we'll have them running around the track in a formation. So first thing is the box. I don't know if you like packaging and boxes. It comes in a plastic sleeve, quite thick plastic. Let's put that to one side. And then this box has got a, a magnetic flap on and it opens up like that. So inside we have an A4 piece of paper from the Cura scale. Of history and info on the wagons and then on the other side we've got a very detailed diagram of all the components and then a list of all the part numbers and then a contact information on the bottom if you wish to order any spares so that's that and we've got a bit of spongy foam and then the wagons are encased in here you've got a bit of spongy foam there and these protect the handrails when they're in the box um, they're quite delicate to get out of the box so uh, do handle with care be gentle with them so that's the box the packaging the model number there we are. So I'll put this to one side and then we'll take a look at the wagons. So the wagons themselves, very highly detailed, very impressed with the amount of detail on them. You've got little handles and levers in there. You've got decals in there, look. Or tampo printing if it pick up. The hand wheel there, look. Now originally, I believe the plan was to have these slide in so they'd open and they were going to release a digital set which opened up uh, but I'm not sure what happened about that um, whether they shelved the idea because it was too complex, I'm not sure but these are moulded shut, you can't open these and there's even more detail there some more handles Take a look at the other side, it's pretty much the same, it's just a mirrored image. So you've got uh, four bogies on here that rotate, and then you have a central pivot. So uh, they pivot together. Oh, the camera picks up all the detail on there. These handrails are quite robust, but I wouldn't want to. Uh, I wouldn't want to play with them too much. For some, so yeah, quite uh, quite a heavy model as well. I think the frame that feels cast there. So yeah, it's quite a weight to it. Like I said, I have been running them around for a bit, and they will go around first radius curves quite happily but uh, I'll be running around the uh, second and third radius curves for you on the video uh, I think that just about covers it quickly just a quick review I don't tend to waffle on too much so I'll have a look underneath well there's not much detail underneath just uh, the frame most of the details in, in here with the handles and levers and bits and pieces so what we're going to do is we're going to run them with a pair of brand new Batman 57s with the Hornby Mark II brakes 
I have seen these run down in Plymouth to the naval dockyard to take spent nuclear fuel. So uh, yeah, what we'll do now then is collect them all up in a rake and we'll get them run around for you. I hope you enjoyed that little running session. I, uh, I forgot to say that I got them direct from a Cura scale when they were uh, announced initially. I put my pre-order in, so I've been waiting a while for them. But yeah, very pleased with them, very happy. So yeah, if you want a pair, I, uh, I recommend you get them. I know a few of the local shops are getting them in. So if you don't fancy going direct, check out your local model shop, see if they have any stock. But yes, very pleased indeed. So thank you for watching, and I'll uh, catch you all next time. Cheers!